Hello, I'm Captain Stacy Spell, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Southwest Division in the City of Los Angeles on March 16, 2021 at around 4.41 p.m. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies in the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Around 12.15 p.m., officers assigned to Southwest Division responded to a radio call of a 415 man with a gun in the 1000 block of West 21st Street. Here's the 911 call and corresponding radio broadcast from this incident. Please, excuse me, um, we have a situation on West 21st Street. What's happening now? Uh, I'm sorry? What's happening? Oh, it's happening. Um, you know what, I have my nephew, he's in the back, and I'm not sure he has a baby gun, and I want, I want somebody to come in, please. What is he doing, ma'am? I don't know, but he's all drugged up. Is this in L.A. or San Pedro? I'm sorry? Are you in Los Angeles or San Pedro? Uh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Is he white, black, Hispanic, or Asian? He's Hispanic. He's in the rear yard? He's in the backyard. How old is he? Um, he's in like 34. What is he wearing? Uh, I, I can't, I cannot describe him because I didn't went in there with my, my, my niece that went over there. What's his name? Uh, Jorge Sarda. He's self unit. 14 man with a gun in West 21st Street, suspect in the rear yard. All Hispanic, 34 years, wearing a blue shirt. No further description, armed with a BB gun. Under the influence of narco. Code 2 incident, 2037 As the officers were en route, a second person called 911 and indicated that the suspect was in the rear yard and fired a gun into the air. One operator 326. Hi, yes. I want to report that there's a guy in the property with the gun. Uh, he shot up into the air. My family's in the back house. Okay, what's the address? Uh, it's, it's West 21st Street. West California. 21st? Yes. Okay, can you describe the guy? Is, first, is this in San Pedro or in L.A.? L.A. Okay, and can you describe the guy to me? He is bald. I believe he's wearing a black shirt, and I, I can't recall the rest. Okay. Um, okay, and um, is this, you said it was West 21st Street, correct? Yes, it was Angeles, California, 9777. Okay, did you want to leave your name and number? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Okay, phone number? Okay, I'll go ahead and send the officers out there, okay? All right, thank All right, you. Thank Please, you. Eric, because he just shot up and he's there. Okay, I'm going to send the All officers, right. okay? Thanks. Bye. Southwest Union shooting just occurred. West 21st Street. West 21st Street. In the rear yard, suspect in the male Hispanic black shirt, unknown color pants. Shot on the mount, correction, shot unknown amount of shots into the air. It's code 3 incident 2084 and RD 308, possibly related to incident 2037. When the officers arrived to the area of the 911 call, they learned that the suspect was under the influence of narcotics and armed with a gun. After the suspect barricaded himself inside a home, officers from special weapons and tactics were summoned to the scene to assist. The SWAT personnel established containment, cleared surrounding residents from the area, and initiated their efforts to establish communication with the suspect. 
After the crisis negotiation team declared an impasse, gas was deployed into the home. As this occurred, the suspect fired, striking one SWAT officer, then exited the residence armed with a shotgun, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. The suspect was struck by gunfire and taken into custody. That suspect was later identified as 36-year-old Jorge Armando Cerda. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here's body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. You guys don't want any, you don't need anything from us, he's fine? Well, the thing is, um, he has a baby gun that's yeah, probably at the front. He's so drunk that one, you don't want nothing else to happen. Is he shooting at you guys? No, he's just shooting in the air? Yeah, yes. Yeah, he tried to scare me when I tried to go back to him. I took like, he was like, fuck up, like, and then he just tried to do that. I mean, it is, it's, it's like something like this. Are you trying to challenge Okay, but he never pointed at you guys and threatened you guys? No. It's nothing. No. Is he mentally ill? No. He's just high. Yes, he's just high. He's just high. He gets like that. I mean, if it's his BB gun and he owns it, yeah. and he's not threatening you guys, I can't, I can't do anything to him. If he's just, I mean. Yeah, I can't think he didn't know he had a post it, but, uh, is, What's uh, his name? Jorge George. George. Hello? Hey George. Hey, this is Officer. This is Officer Science. You okay? This is Officer Science with LAPD. Are you okay? No, we want to make sure you're okay. Well, we don't we don't want to go in there. We don't want anyone to get hurt. You're not in trouble. We don't want you to die today. Well, well, we want to leave. We want to leave, but we just got to talk to you real quick and you can finish your family matters. What could we... Well, I know you want to jail, but I wasn't, I wasn't with you. No, but we want to help you out. We want to help you out. He doesn't want the money. Can you come out and talk to us? Oh man, he doesn't want the money. What's that? He doesn't want the money. Just, just come on out and talk to us real quick. Hello? Hey, come out and talk to us. So we promise. You're not, you're not in trouble. Look, there was no. Hey George, this is Sergeant Covo. There was no crime. Okay, but there's people that call and they and they're concerned. So because they thought that there was, so we have to make sure there isn't. Okay, listen, you have a BB gun, right? People thought it was a, a real gun. Somebody called and they thought it was a real gun. Okay. Okay, I can tell you, but you gotta come out first. Is that fair? Dude, just just come on out. No, we don't even want to do that, George. We're not even concerned about any record because you're not you're not gonna go to jail. We just have to. We just want you to step out. We're gonna talk to you. We're gonna make sure everything's okay inside the house, and we're leaving. That's it. I promise you. Okay. Yeah. But the longer we're here, it gets worse. So, what's that? I promise you. It's I'm Sergeant Koval, I promise you. You're not gonna go to jail. Are you there? Okay. Again? Yeah, just do me a favor. Just come on out. Just put your hands up when you come out. We gotta make sure you don't have anything in your hands. I'm over here. 
check. He, he said, uh, I couldn't hear anything. He said, I have a real gun. I'm not coming out. It's a shotgun. He's saying, did she describe shells? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's saying I'm going to die today. So, just so you guys know. My brother. That's my brother. It's her brother. Is it an oh. air rifle or pistol? I don't know. It's, a, it's huge. I know I could hurt someone. But honestly, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. She thinks, she said it was it's like a shotgun. The bullets are this big. And they're wrong. They're not like it's it's, it's a, what is it? They call like shotgun. Uh, I know hey. it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Hey, uh, it's, it's she's like, saying it's a shotgun now. George, come to the front door. Or one of the windows. Wave your hands at me. Make sure your hands are empty, please. Come to the window. I want to make sure you're okay. We seen you earlier. At the front window. Okay. George, the police are out here, and if they're not going to go away, they're here to make sure that you're safe. There's a lot of people out there who want to speak with you, including your family. Like I said, down the street, she wants to speak with you also. A lot of people in your family want to speak with you. They all care and love you. Can you come to the door of the window? If you want, I'm going to call your cell phone right now. And we can talk over the phone. Al, do you want me to take that off so it's not it's pulling right now? If it doesn't expose you, if it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. All right. George, I'm calling you right now. George, your uh, phone keeps on going to voicemail every time I call. Is the uh, battery dead on the phone? Is that a cell phone? I need to know so you and I can speak. Can you let me know? Hey, George. I know you can hear me. Your aunt's down the street, your cousin, your entire family. Listen, the police are not going to walk away. They're not going to just leave until we make sure that you're safe. You come out. You cooperate. Let's talk. You can talk to your family. You can talk to me. We can figure this out. Hey, George. Your family's down on the corner. They're very concerned. They love you. Your aunt really loved you. He's at the corner. He's on the street right now waiting for you. He wants to give you a big hug. He wants to make sure you're safe. Sí, 
Hey, see, see. Over here, hey. Get out the air. Suspect's coming out the two, three car to the door. Over here, over here, hey. We heard a round. You good? Yeah. Yeah, I got hit. Roger. I got hit in the vest. You got hit in the vest? Yeah. Rodney got hit in the vest. Come on, your hands up! You want me to take your place? Uh, no, I'm good. Let's see your hands! Do you see him? I can't see him, no. Rodney is good. Rodney is good. Rodney Williams, he's good. I'm going to do it from here. Yeah, go ahead. We got to see it. Rodney's down! Nothing's down! Nothing's down! Rodney's down! Rodney's down! Watch out, Rodney. Talk to me, Rodney. Put your hand there. Have the Larry come to side, to side two, one west of the location. Okay, hold the frequency there. Make contact on side two. Yeah, that shot. Hey, we got shot fired out here. Yeah, roger that. What's that? Hey, officer down, officer down. Run, you got a hit. So yeah, hey, don't fucking move. Don't move. Don't reach for that rifle. Do not reach for that rifle. Yeah, he's down. He's down.
Suspects down. Do not move! Be advised, we have suspect down on the ground. Do not move! You go for that rifle, I'm gonna shoot you again! You go for that rifle, I'm gonna shoot you again, you understand? He's on site 2-3, two, three, the 2-3 two, corner. On the ground. Do not move! Here, cover him, cover him. Hey, hold him. I got cuffs, you got cuffs? Yeah, yeah. I got metal cuffs. Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded and determined Cerda was deceased at scene. The SWAT officer struck by gunfire was transported by Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics to a local hospital where he was provided treatment and listed in stable condition. Investigators recovered a shotgun and pistol belonging to Cerda at the scene. Investigators learned the shotgun was stolen and the pistol was a ghost gun. Ghost guns are firearms manufactured without serial numbers and require no background checks for purchase, making them undetectable to law enforcement authorities. Ghost guns are generally homemade from polymer plastic or metal that need minor modifications to make them operable. Investigators booked both firearms as evidence. Jorge Armando Cerda was a 36-year-old resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing, and exhibiting a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you would like more information on how the LAPD and LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.